Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today. I uh, briefly reply from the federal government, and I am a live witness of the difficulties facing Hispanics in our quest to reach the highest rank of public service. NAFE is an organization that represents all senior level Hispanics in the federal government, and I am proud to speak on their behalf here today. The current selection methodology for senior level positions in the federal government has not produced any improvement on Hispanic representation at the senior levels of the federal government workforce. Hispanic represents 3.6% of the careers yes, cadres, who are making up 13.8% of the national civilian labor force. Using the most conservative calculation, this means that Hispanics today are underrepresented by close by 500 career SES positions. To make matters less encouraging, Hispanic representation at the feeder positions leading to the career SES level uh, declined by 2.8% or 579 positions from 2006 to 2007. Without a robust presence in the feeder pipelines and strong measures of accountability, future Hispanic representation at the senior level position in government will only get worse. NAFE believes one answer to successfully diversifying the senior level ranks of government is to set in place and to enforce minimal systems of accountability so that managers and supervisors may be held accountable for effectively carrying out their legal mandate to implement and promote equal oppor employment opportunity and diversity programs. In fact, a number of accountability tools are already in place. They just haven't been effectively monitored or enforced. This culture of non-accountability has resulted in disgraceful level of Hispanic representation at SES levels in federal agencies that should be leaders in diversity. That Hispanic underrepresentation in the federal workforce has reached crisis proportion is clearly illustrated by these telling statistics. Hispanics remain the only underrepresented ethnic group at 7.7% in the overall government workforce when compared to their present level of representation in the national civilian labor force, 13.8%, there is a Hispanic underrepresentation gap of 6.1% or 120,000 jobs at $5.5 billion in salaries alone to the Hispanic community. Uh, with the average uh, hiring rate of 0.13% over the past 40 years, Hispanic representation in the federal workforce will never reach parity with their numbers in the national civilian labor force. NAFE fully supports the subcommittee initiative to introduce legislation to establish an executive resource office within the Small Business Administration to ensure the SBA executives reflect the nation's diversity. NAFE has consistently emphasized the need for accurate and timely data on current positions of field, vacant, and candidates for career SES positions. The responsibility for accountability and diversity selections rests with the recruitment and selection process, and the record speaks loud and clear that living independent authority for ensuring diversity in career SES selections with agencies will not improve the dismal bottom line. One only need to look at the current level of Hispanic representation in several key executive agencies to understand it is time to abandon the failed SES selection methods of the past and turn to new creative ideas for improving diversity at the senior level of government. For these reasons, NAFE supports and commends the subcommittee for introducing legislation that will create the accountability part of the process that has been missing all along. NAFE shares the goal of bringing greater diversity to the Federal Executive Corps. We do not believe that continuing to rely on the failed SES selection methodology of the past will yield different, more positive results. It is time to turn over a new leaf and dramatically improve the SES selection process. We believe that they will signal a welcome change toward improving diversity at the senior level of government. Chairman Gonzalez, a member of the subcommittee on uh, I thank you for the opportunity to share our views and support for the SBA Executive Diversity Act.